if you're hoping to book a getaway to Nantucket or anywhere else at a discount price on short notice, the combination could make you the perfect target to get scammed. Senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson is here with tips on how to protect yourself and your valuable vacation time from travel fraud. I mean, how big an issue is travel fraud? Travel fraud is on the rise and it's become a very big issue. A recent study showed that 55 million bookings per year are done on a fraudulent online website, travel website, or through a fake hotel website. So it is something that has risen 16% in 2017, and it's had a significant impact on consumers and on the travel industry. We're talking about the average consumer. The fraud loss is between $300 and over $500. And we're also looking at airlines losing between 2 to nearly $5 billion a year to credit card fraud. If you're booking your hotel on the same day thinking you're going to get a great deal, you're four times more likely to be a victim of fraud. So I mentioned that if you're looking for that deal, it makes you more vulnerable to it. What are the red flags you're looking for to know whether you're about to get hooked? Well, you get that suspicious email that says, you know, you can get a great discount on this airline or this resort, but there are not a lot of details attached to it. Or the biggest one, it's going to be free, but it doesn't give you a date. It doesn't really give you a name of the location of where this property is going to be. That's another warning sign to look out for. The other thing to look for is if you're pressured to do it right now, pay up front, and you're going to get this great offer, that is something that you really want to be wary of because that's in order to get your, your credit card number and get you to sign up right away, another form of fraud. And finally, you want to be sure that you're looking at currency exchanges when you're traveling abroad. People think, I got to just exchange this money quickly. I'm going to use a storefront to do it. That is not where you want to go. Likely going to get a scam there. You want to go to a bank. All right. And what do you do if you spot a scam? If you spot a scam, make sure you get all the things in writing. That's how you can avoid it. That's one of the first steps to always take. And if don't make one payment until you've seen it in writing, make sure that you're reading the fine print and make sure that you review it immediately because you only have 60 days, according to the Federal Trade Commission, oh. to dispute a credit card charge from the first time it appears on your bill. So if you've made this booking months in advance and then discover later that there's something wrong there, you may be ripped off and unable to get your money back. Plus, how do you explain it to your family, Sharon? Exactly. Thank you.